Hello, everyone, and welcome to Edison TV. Today's our guest is Robert Cook, CEO of Fridays UK. Friday is the largest company of Electra Investment Trust, accounting for nearly three quarters of Electra's assets. Friday joining what it used to be called TGI Fridays in 2019, Robert was CEO UK for Virgin Active. With industry backgrounds spanning for nearly 30 years, Robert um, is a fellow of the Institute of Hospitality. He's worked on, in hospitality all these 30 years, and he's a freeman of the city of London. Well, Robert, let's start from the beginning of your journey to Electra. What attracted you to join Fridays as CEO in 2019? Well, two or three things, really. Number one is I was a great admirer of the brand. I uh, knew the brand way back in the 80s when it first came to the UK and sort of been a follower ever since. Um, I was very uh, aligned to, when I met Electra, what their thinking was for the brand. And I was, as a hospitality um, person through and through, was keen to get back into uh, the, the sharper end of the industry, should I say. Uh, and casual dining was an, uh, a market particularly that I was keen to, to enter. So really those three things were my, uh, my drivers to uh, come to Fridays. So what are your plans for the future and for the next uh, few years and how will you and your team implement them? Well, when I first uh, accepted the role at Fridays, we, um, Electra and I, did a, a, a quite invasive piece of consumer research about where the brand was uh, and, and in, in terms of uh, with our with our existing clientele, with our lapsed clientele and where the future clientele could come from. And um, we did that research. And from that research, we really honed down to three things that, that we needed to look at the quality of our product. We looked to simplify our product and we looked at trying to make our product more relevant. And from that, we came up with a 4D strategy and it, it sort of dovetailed quite nicely, um, or, 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 or rather, or, or unfortunately, depends how you look at it, uh, with when COVID hit. And um, that gave us um, uh, to the, the ability and the need to exercise that a little bit quicker. So the, we have a 4D strategy. So we're a dine-in business. We're a drive-through business. We are a digital-enabled uh, business. And we are a delivery business. And the, 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 the dine-in is obvious, but the other three were really um, moved at great pace uh, during the, the COVID pandemic. And therefore, we've got a lot more strings to our bow. And I think coming out of COVID, we are a far stronger brand. And we were a strong brand anyway. I inherited a very strong brand with a strong following. But I think the, we didn't waste the crisis. We put, we've turned every stone and we come out of this stronger, not only stronger in, as a brand and as an offer, but also stronger in terms of our, 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 our balance sheet and our financial uh, uh, our backing. So what we hear um, lately is about shortages of staff in leisure industry, you know, due to the pandemic and lockdowns. How, how, how does Fridays uh, deal with these? Look, the, the issue is, is, is certainly a post-pandemic or, or coming to the end of pandemic issue, and it's, it's industry-wide. Um, and, and, and I can't say that it, it hasn't affected us like it's affected everyone else. But I think, as I've said earlier, Friday is a very, very strong brand. It's got strong appeal and it's a great career. And I think with Fridays in itself going into a growth spurt as we um, uh, enter the new phase of our, our development, as well as our second brand, this gives phenomenal career opportunity for people within Fridays. And I think trusting a brand and trusting that career opportunity is affording us um, to be able to fill the gaps that have came from the uh, pandemic in the in the shortages of staff uh, quite quickly. And in fact, today we are we are in in relatively good shape now. Um, whereas five weeks ago, uh, the picture wasn't so pretty. Um, but it's an industry problem, and I think um, you know we all would seek that uh, that government look at um, softening some of the new rules they've brought in in terms of um, uh, making the UK your domicile home. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it, it, there's many things that have to be done uh, to attract talent, and I think we are pulling uh, we are pulling uh, our weight really well in that, and um, we're we're in relatively good shape. Hasn't gone away, uh, but definitely a lot better. That um, sounds encouraging. Um, you did mention that you are in a strong position as a business, and, and you are indeed. 
So uh, how do you view the risks of continuous restrictions um, and, and potential lockdowns that's sort of in the near term and uh, going forward more longer term, how do you see Fridays in the post COVID um, then environment? We've spent a lot of time uh, and used, used the crisis and the lockdown to good use. We've turned every stone in the business and um, really understand the business a lot better and see the opportunities and how the business can behave outside the four walls. I mentioned digital. We've now got a Fridays to home range that is, that is incremental revenue to us. But I think there's, um, we, we're strong in terms of that, in terms of our, our, our speed and our, our, our action. We were the first of the big brands to open all our stores back in the 6th of July last year when we reopened. And likewise, in the most recent lockdown, we came out of the blocks really fast and enjoyed some really great trading. During that whole time, we were focused on cash preservation, and um, we we came out of the business. It came out of we have came out of, of, of COVID in a very very strong uh, cash position, as well as the backing that we have from Electra. Um, and there is advantages in all of this. There's advantages in the dislocation that's happened in the in the market, around the ability to acquire um, or to secure new sites, and uh, we are we have secured. Um, uh, a sufficient amount of sites for a new brand, 63rd and 1st, where we've got five sites in the pipeline, one already open, and uh, we've secured four new Friday sites uh, at far more advantageous uh, terms than were previous uh, pre-COVID, both in terms of uh, rent-free, in terms of a nil premium, and also in a reduced uh, passing rent uh, as a result of the um, exodus there's been of, of some 30% of the casual dining space is now available for re-renting. That's impressive, uh, Robert. So uh, maybe you can quickly touch on uh, rebranding because most people know Fridays as TGI Fridays, as used to be called. Now we have two brands, Fridays and 63rd plus first. A um, couple of words on, on those. Fridays was what everyone called it. So we, we seek permission, as, any, as many other franchisees of Fridays across the world um, have done, and, and just simply known as Fridays. Uh, we also saw that as Fridays was far more nimble and agile in the, in the, in the digital space, uh, and in particular in social media. So that was part of the brand refresh that we did when we went out to the consumer research. The other part of that was that, that many of the lapsed customers of Fridays had missed um, what Fridays um, went to them when they were younger. Uh, that is a bar, a heritage, a, a seeped in a bar heritage. And 63rd and 1st is named after the first ever Fridays in, in Manhattan on 63rd and 1st Street. And um, is very much focused on fantastic cocktails and probably balances out that, that, that beverage sells more than food. Um, so that's why that came in, as well as the dislocation and the opportunity to buy sites or acquire sites at uh, advantageous terms has really been the catalyst and driver for that. Yeah, so that's um, again. It's it's worth trying trying out. So as a new customer to um, sixty third plus first, and and also um, renewed Fridays. What what shall what shall we expect? What shall I expect? What shall we all expect? Sixty third and first is a very different environment. It's very much a, a Fridays for grown ups. Fridays is very much a family brand. So it's a Fridays for grown ups and sixty third and first. You'll expect. <clears throat> some fantastically um, crafted cocktails by our mixologists and a really uh, top uh, range of foods ranging from seafood to steaks and so on and so forth, but in a far more calm environment. Um, whereas Fridays is, is what you see from the new Fridays is we've definitely injected that quality into the menu. We've definitely injected relevance into our cocktail list and using um, more, more, the, the more premium brands as well as um, taking a lot of our food that was imported from overseas back into the UK. So all our steaks are now Scottish 28 day uh, aged steaks, our seafoods all from the UK. Um, and also, and probably the most important point about relevance is, is, the, the, is the focus that we've now got on nutrition and where we looked at reducing the three things that the government are encouraging us to do is to reduce saturated fat, salt and sugar. And that's been taken into account in Fred as well. So it's Whilst we haven't lost the essence of Fridays, the taste profiles are the same. We think we're creating something that's a little bit more a healthier menu. So summer is here, so it's time to go and uh, to try um, both venues out then, Robert. Absolutely. <laughs> when the sun shines, Fridays and 6th and 1st have got great terraces to use. Yes. Oh, well, we will uh, definitely do so.
Uh, today we had Robert Cook um, with Edison TV. Robert is the CEO of Fridays UK. Thank you, Robert, and see you again soon. My pleasure. Thank you for your time.